Bob Ford. Always a pleasure to chat with him, and I've been doing their games for 16 years, and no classier individual than Bob Ford and an awfully good football coach. And earlier today, I had a chance to sit down and talk with the coach, and we started with this year's season. Coach, let's start with the season. Strong finish. A kind of an up and down year, but a, a strong finish. You feel good about that? Yeah, I think we had a couple great wins. I think the win over the University of Maine, three nothing in the opener, uh, 63 full scholarships. That was a great win. Going down in the, the Yale Bowl, uh, facing an undefeated uh, Yale team, uh, the historical significance was not lost on yourself or myself. I think that had a very, very special meaning for me. And then to come on and finish the season with three good wins uh, going into recruiting gives you a good feeling. Coach, can you talk about the success that your program has had at this level that you're playing at, say, in the last 10 years, you've been at either at or near the top every season. Well, it was kind of interesting, Rog, because I said to the squad yesterday, we had our first team meeting, that this was the first November, I believe, in a decade that we were not in contention. So we've been in contention every year. Haven't won a championship every year, but we've been in contention in, a, in an area where you feel good about playing going into November. I think a couple things hurt us this year. I, I believe strongly that if you want to be playing in late November, you've got to be able to run the football. And we struggled to Drew do that Smith in the early going. I think Drew Smith got dinged up a little bit. That didn't help. Dylan Romaine didn't find his running shoes until about the latter portion of the season, and then he really started to come on. And then, of course, we developed Buddy Leafly as a little bit of a running threat coming out of there. So we got better, but nonetheless, we have to be able to run the football. The second thing is you have to be able to stop the run. And third, you can't turn the damn thing over, and we turned it over too many times. Coach, from a recruiting standpoint, um, where, where do you stand with that right now? The success that your program has had, has it made it easier to go out and bring in quality kids? Yes. We're more recognized now as we go into some of these other states, North Carolina, Florida, Ohio, Pennsylvania. New Jersey, if you went back 15 years ago, in all honesty, some of them didn't even know where the University at Albany was. So I think the success of our total athletic program, not just football, has made it a little bit easier to go into some of these states. Uh, this year we graduated a very small class, so we're looking for a very small class coming in. Uh, we need offensive linemen badly. That's our most our precious need right now. We need a cover corner and we need a good inside linebacker. Those are probably our three, three greatest needs. And that is veteran head coach uh, Bob Ford. Look at this. First among active coaches in career victories. Won four Northeast Conference championships. The 08 Gridiron Classic champion. Two great Danes have uh, uh, played in the NFL regular season. 117 all-conference selections. 12 Division I FCS All-American. Seven or more wins eight times as an FCS program. I mean, he is absolutely done it all, and, and, and what a great guy. You can appreciate somebody who's been, and you coach a long yeah, time at there. Skidmore. You can he appreciate was, uh, those records. I was at uh, Albany as a student when he was a coach. coach. Uh, I was played for Doc Sowers, and he used to stop in the Coach Ford's office every once in a while, see how his team was going to be. He was a great supporter of the basketball team yeah. as well. And all the travels when we go around the Northeast Conference, everybody knows Coach Bob Ford.